Welcome to another food review with me, John. Today I am going to be doing another in a series of my ramen review videos. So today I'm going to be doing the last uh, variety of the fire noodles from Samyang, the brand Samyang from South Korea. As you know, I've done quite a few of these already. I've done the original, I've done the double spice, I've done the cold version, I've done the cheese version, and I've done the curry version. Yeah, I think that's all of them. But this one is called the stew type. And the big difference between this and the other ones is that this one has liquid broth in it. Whereas all the other ones, you only use a little bit of water to mix in with the sauce and it's more of a pan fried noodle this is more of uh, what people are normally seeing when they see ramen the the broth with new noodles so as you can see it's the still the hot chicken flavor all the fire noodles are all the hot chicken flavor i believe in korean it's called bukaman um, so i'll give you a little description of how this is made it's kind of different than the other one. So if you look at the uh, instructions in the back, you actually boil the water with the sauce pack. Now here's a sauce pack. Um, it looks similar to all the other sauce packs. I don't know if it's any uh, real different, um, but I think it's the same as the original flavor sauce pack. So then you put that in the water, you boil it, once it starts boiling, you put the noodles in. As you can see, the noodles in this one is actually a circular disc, whereas all the other ones were that square block. This one was like a hockey puck. Um, so you boil that for five minutes, turn off the heat, and then you add the powder sachet. And this is the powder sachet. Um, it looked just like a white powder, and a, maybe like a cream colored powder, and it had uh, bits of nori or like seaweed in it um, I think it's supposed to both add a little bit more flavor and also just give a little bit of thickness to the uh, broth it had some kind of starches in it so I think that's the main thing and also if you look on here on the package it says sachet powder must be put before eat so make sure you're making this that you put before eat all right it didn't have any suggestions what to add so I followed it just like it says and then this is what it looks like if you look at the noodles they're a little bit like wider a little bit wider and thicker I think than the other types and you can see the, the, the broth sticking to it pretty well. Uh, I think that's because of the, the powder you put in there. It doesn't make it like super thick, but it just makes gives it a little bit of viscosity just so that flavor is sticking to the noodles a lot better. All right, let's give this stew type a try. And I think when I looked this up online, it's supposed to be slightly higher on the Scoville scale than the original. I think the original is like 4,400, and this is like 4,500. I think they probably had to increase the spice just because they knew they were going to add liquid to it, more liquid to it. So they had to increase it a little bit to, uh, to make sure the spice spread out more. The noodles are, they have like a, a, a more bite, more chew to them than the original ones just because they're a little bit thicker. Because it's a, because it's a broth one, the sauce doesn't like 
it's not as sticky. Um, with, the, with when you pan fry them, the sauce can get really sticky and just like gum up your mouth more. I think since this one is more brothy, uh, the noodles kind of like slide a little bit better in your mouth. Spice wise, I would say it's pretty uh, even with the original. It might even taste a little bit less. I think that's just because it's spread out in the in the liquid more. It's not as concentrated. Um, but the the chicken flavor that you get through all of them is still here. Uh, but this one's a little bit more watered down. And again, because you're mixing it with that liquid more and I think that's what the sass, the, the powder is supposed to do um, not only make it thicker but add more of that chicken flavor to it just to make up for the fact that it's uh, more watered down but I think you could still taste that it's a little watered down it's still very tasty I like the fact that the noodles are wider <clears throat> and the fact that the sauce thickens up a bit. It really makes the flavor stick to the noodles really well, even though it's a brothy type. Whereas in the other version, so the, so the sauce is just so sticky that it coats the noodles and the noodles are basically dark red. But uh, they do a good job of making the, the flavor stick to it. I'm going to have to give this ramen the stew type hot chicken flavored ramen. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. The chicken flavor, although a little bit watered down, is still very good. The spice level is very good. It's not going to blow you away. But it's going to give you the tingle on your lips, the little uh, tingle in the back of your throat. You might have to cough a little bit, but you're not going to be uh, pouring milk down your throat to make sure uh, that uh, you're not dying from the heat. A little bit of nose running. I can feel my eyes a little bit watery, a little sweat in the back of my neck. So there's definitely heat, but it's not overbearing. Either that or I'm just getting used to eating more and more of the spicy stuff. Either way, I really like this. If you uh, wanted to try the spicy noodles, but you are more of a fan of things that have broth in it, this is definitely the style for you. Uh, it has all the flavor and all the spice. Maybe a little bit less of both, but that's debatable. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Um, if you haven't noticed over here, I have a nice, another beer that I'm going to be doing a review for right after I'm done with this. And hope you come and see that. And uh, yeah, that's it for this review. Hopefully you liked it. Until next time, guys. Bye.